so uh, I got possessed over the weekend. It was like three o'clock and I was listening to Beyonce, The Replaceable, and then I black out. I started seeing a bunch of red streaks and next thing you know, I got this demon inside me. Looking on the, on the internet, um, with what to do, and people are saying I've got like a brain cancer. I don't think it's brain cancer because does cancer talk? Does it have a devilish voice? I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie to you because he keeps them popping in and up. God, Frosties! You see? What's that? I wasn't thinking about Frosties. And he keeps them coming in and he's putting these weird thoughts in my mind that I'm not used to. You might be thinking, why don't I tell? Like, why don't I tell anyone? Because I'm, I'm, I don't want to freak them out. I don't, I don't want to scare my mum. I've already dropped out of university. And if I add on uh, possessed by a demon, she's going to start worrying. I just uh, wear my shades so no one notices. Hey, here's the worst thing about it. This demon guy, he, his life is better than mine. Remember on Valentine's Day, I was chilling with a rat? He killed 17 people on that day. So he's definitely got better stories than I have. He's more upfront. When he wants something, he says it. I want a fat ass, wait. No, that, that wasn't me. If he's obsessed with cereal, whenever I'm in the supermarket and he sees cereal, he's got to take it. I want a bowl of Cocoa Pops. This is enough. I can't handle it anymore. I do like cereal, but it's, uh, I don't care, all right? <sighs> Okay, he's gone. <sighs> Back to me. Back to a cool, collected, content, <sighs> non-possessed me. I miss him already. Jeez Louise, okay. If he wanted cereal, he would just go oh. get it. If I want something, I should just do the same thing. So... No, the the time I spent with him really was irreplaceable. To the left, to the left, everything